Hey everybody, it's been forever since I made a video, but I have a story to tell you that it just won't come out as exciting if I were to type it. So I'm gonna tell you a story. And excuse me, I look like I have no makeup on, I have this huge, where is it? Right there, huge zit on my face and the eyebrow threading lady like tore all my eyebrows off. Anyways, so I'm gonna tell you a little story about the video below this video. And if you don't have 10 minutes to watch the next video, watch it later tonight when you get home or, or whatever, whenever you have 10 minutes. But I would love, love, love to hear your feedback on it. So here's my story. Um, about a year and a half ago, a dear, dear friend of ours, my family, um, Joanne, sent a letter to, you know, just like the Paula Dean general mailbox on the Paula Dean website. I think that's where she sent it. She said she doesn't know why she was compelled to do it, but she did it anyway, saying, I have a friend, Leslie. She's the hungry housewife. She has a blog. She loves to cook. She's an amazing mom. You know, obviously playing me up pretty well. And so she sent it. And she said, I don't know why I sent it. I just sent it. And she said within a couple days, she got an email back from Follow Productions, which is the um, production company for Paula Deen and Big Daddy and the Neelys and all Paula Deen's delicious boys site um shows and they wanted my contact information so she called me up she's like you will never believe this and she she didn't even tell me about the letter so when she said i just got a phone call or an email from follow productions i'm like what are you talking about and then she told me about the letter and i was quite shocked that they emailed her back and she said they wanted my contact information so she gave them my contact information and um, within, I think two days, or maybe it was a day. I don't remember. They called me. So I am driving to my sister's house. I'm picking up my kids. My kids are, you know, going crazy because they always go crazy once they see me and start acting up and the phone rings and it was out of, you know, out of service or an out of area number. So I didn't think anything of it. I just picked it up and it was this dashing Australian voice this deep voice. And for some reason, I knew exactly who it was. I mean, once you hear his voice, it's unmistakable. And it, anyways, it was Gordon Elliott. Now, if you're a foodie, I'm sure you know who he is. He's the producer of the Paula Dean show. Like I said, the Neely's Big Daddy, um, that new Spice chick on, on the Food Network. I'm not sure I haven't seen her show yet. Um, lots of other things. He's done a million things. IMDB him. If you don't know what IMDB is, it's www.imdb. Um, he's done so many things. He was the Campbell Soup guy. He did Knock Knock Dinners. Um, he basically found Paula Deen. Or he did find Paula Deen. Anyways, it was him on the phone and he, I was shaking like something was wrong with me. Like literally like, like sweat was pouring out from my underarms. I was sweating. I was shaking. I didn't, I, I was shocked that I was on the phone with him. Anyways, that he said that he loved my website and he felt something when he watched me and he wanted to see more videos of me because I really didn't have any videos of on my website, just silly ones of me talking about random things about getting fat and stuff, which we won't even go there right now because it's after the holidays. But anyway, so he said, I want to see more videos. So I ran home and actually I had called my husband first. Like I was screaming and he couldn't understand what I was saying. He was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I was like, ah! he was screaming at the top of my lungs. And so I go home and I'm like, we have to do these videos right now. I have to get these videos to him. So I did a couple videos and I sent them to him. One was just me in the kitchen. One was, um, and one was with me and the kids in the kitchen. Anyways, so he called me back after he got the videos and he said he loved the videos and I'm not going to say everything he said because it just sounds like whatever. Like he just loved me. So he said that he wanted to actually come to my house with a production crew and film a pilot for the Food Network. I thought I was going to die. Are you kidding me? Me, little Leslie in Tampa, he wants to come here and film a pilot for the Food Network. Who does that happen to, really? I mean, who does that happen to? It's not like I was out fishing for people to come to my house and film it, or, you know, to film anything, actually to do anything. I don't, you know, I just have a little food blog and I cook. That's all it is. So I was freaking out. Anyways, fast forward a few months. Him, he wasn't actually going to come 
because he had a family emergency overseas or anything. So I was kind of bummed out. Um, and I really didn't know who was going to come, to be honest with you. But him and Mark Schneider, which is his partner in Follow Production, show up at my door. And I give them both big hugs. And, okay, so you think some hoity-toity, fancy-schmancy, New York City producer is going to come to your house. And they're going to be all hoity-toity and stuck up and pretentious. No. Completely the opposite. They are the nicest funniest, down to earth, like a friend that you've had forever type of people that you could ever meet in your life. And I kid you not, I'm just saying, I'm not just saying that. They're the nicest people. Him and Mark are the nicest people ever. They're funny. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. Anyways, so the camera crew comes and they set up all their stuff and we start filming. Well, you would think, you know, when you watch a Food Network show, it's all polished and pretty and all in order. Well, that's not how it's filmed. It's filmed in like little segments and you boil the water in this segment. I mean, it's just so crazy how it's filmed. And then all those editing, all the editors just like do their magic and put it all together. Well, they, this little 10 minute video that you can watch now or later, whenever you have time, but please watch it. Cause I want to hear your feedback. Um, it took six and a half hours. They were here at my house and it was amazing. I would, I wish I could do it on a daily basis, but that's another time and another story. Um, so anyways, so it was done. He sent me the video. I was like, oh my God, I love it. I would watch me if I was on the Food Network. But okay, so when this was going on, um, the next Food Network star was on and um, Melissa D. Arabian won. Well, what's her shtick? Her shtick is family cooking, stay-at-home mom, cheap dinner, not cheap, but affordable dinners. Well, when he pitched my... Um, Food Network video or my video or my pilot to the Food Network that that slot that they were looking for pretty much was already filled up by Melissa D. Arabian. <clears throat> so they didn't want me. How sad. But anyways, I, I don't care because it's not like I was out searching for this to happen to me. It just kind of happened. So I wasn't, I mean, I, yes, I was disappointed because I got my hopes up, but it was still an amazing experience to have them in my home and film this pilot for the Food Network. And, you know, the people at the Food Network have seen it and they know of me. So maybe someday, I don't know. You never know. I'll just, I just follow whatever comes in my lap. So that's my story of my Food Network show that never was. <laughs> it was fun. I, oh, it was so fun. Anyways, um, like I said, watch it and give me your feedback. Honest feedback. You know, if you say it sucks, it sucks, you know. I don't care. I, I mean, look at me. I have no makeup on and I'm talking to you. Obviously, I could take it. Um, so that's it. I've been waiting to tell y'all. So I just didn't have, I, I could not get it uploaded on my computer, the video, the pilot. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy the pictures. And it was so much fun. I wish everybody could have that experience. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.